Hi guys, this is June because I was born in June. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can connect your Groove Funnels that you just built your Groove Pages in your Groove Funnels to publish in your own domain. Okay, you can actually have two choices. One is that you have a Groove Pages subdomain, and this tutorial purpose, I'm going to teach you how to publish on your own domain. So it's very easy. So what I'm going to show you is I'm using Namecheap to uh, I host my domain domain name there so I'm going to show you the step by step so you are in good hands so first step what you need to do is just to go to this publish button of your group pages make sure that you select check on the publish on your domain and just tap on the domain name that you want to publish okay I have yet to connect it but then what you need to do is just to type the domain name that you wish to connect and then hit on publish right so once you have done this step right right now i want you to go over to something called cloud flare okay this is how to spell it cloudflare.com okay you are just going to sign up a new account do not worry it's totally free of charge for everything so just set up a free account here because i already have a free account so right now i'm just going to log into my account okay so once you're logged in right you are going to be on similar sites. And what I want you to do next is that on the top corner, you are going to see an add site button. You just click on add site. Okay, you are going to jump on this page. I want you to type on the website that you shown just now that which you want to connect, which is for me, it's actually amazingjune.com. Do not input the www, just don't worry about that. Just directly include it without the www dot. Okay, and then just click add sites. So it says that free, normally free is sufficient. So let's just go for free, confirm the, click on free and confirm the plan. Okay, the next thing is that I want you to hit the record button, plus add record, type, please choose C name. It's C N A M E name. Okay, and then this option and then Elias I want you to name I want you to put Elias okay the next thing in the target here I want you to type exactly as I'm typing okay please do not make any typo mistakes it is host10.groovepages.com and make sure this is TTL is auto and just hit on save okay Maybe you'll receive a record uh, saying that the C name or A or AA already exists. So what you need to do right now is that I want you to, can you see that it's not public correctly because there is a C name here. I want you to delete that. Okay. Okay. Once you delete that, let's us try to hit on save to see whether it's possible. Okay. It still says that the A name record is showing. So we need to delete this A name record as well. Okay, I hit the save button. Yes, right now it's saved successfully. It says that this C name, amazingjun.com.com, host10.groovepages.com is exists here. So let's hit on continue button. Okay, right now, I want you to follow my stats because I bought this domain name in Namecheap. So right now, I want you to go back to your Namecheap account so you can click over here. Okay, sorry. Let me open a new screen. Just go to your Namecheap account, which you already signed in. Go to domain. Go to, uh, sorry, go to your account dashboard. Hit on domain list. Just look for the domain that you want to manage. Mine is amazing June, so I just hit on manage. And I want you to go to just at this domain here. Can you guys see that there is a name server over here? Just hover over here and pick custom DNS. Okay, this is what we are going to do. Custom DNS, it says that name server one and name server two. I want you guys to actually copy and paste, replace with cloud first name server, which is name server one, copy, paste, and name server two, copy, paste as well, okay? And then make sure you check on this green button. Do not forget that, okay? So it should say that you save successfully. And then remember that DNS server updates may take up to 48 hours to take effect, okay? 
So next you want to just click. Yep. So this is replaced already. So you, I want you to go back to your cloud fair where you already done this task. Okay. I just want you to click done check name server. And here they will actually ask you to improve the security. I want you to make sure that you toggle on for this HTTPS as usually it's by default is off. I need you to make sure it's on so that your website will be in HTTPS and then save. And then I think in the optimize, you just hit, I'm oh, sorry, you just hit on save for the purest one as well. Okay, always use HTTPS, save, save, and everything just save. Okay, so you just click on finish, right? So these are only the simple steps that you need to do. So right now, let's us try again, go back to our group funnel. Okay, this is a group funnel. Remember, I told you guys that it's going to take up to 48 hours for the DNS to actually populate correctly, but I want to try my luck. So I'm just going to hit the save publish button again. So let's try amazing June to see whether, oh, so it is not, let's try amazing June.com. So it, it's still trying mode. So we will actually try again later on. So after I've been waiting for about 15 minutes, finally it's done. Like let's go to amazing June.com. It's now loading perfectly. And then there is an extra step that, that I want you guys to take in in order to make sure that when you type into www.amazingjune.com, meaning with the www. you are still able to go back to the same page as I am right now. Okay. So because sometimes if I have another, I have another girl, oh, armies. Okay, this is my another page using GoFunnel, right? When I when I type without the www dot, I can't access. However, when I'm typing with www dot, I can't access. So that is an extra step that I want you guys to do. So what you need to do is that I want you to go back to your our uh, cloud flare. Just right now, I'm go just going to show you guys using the other website that I have, which is Goof Armies, right? I want you guys to add the new record. The type pick triple view, which is oh sorry, the type pick C name. Name is triple the triple the view. And then target, I want you guys to go for groovearmies.com. Okay. So here, triple view, this is groovearmies.com. Do not include anything else and click hit on save. You may need to wait for another 15 minutes so that when you type into groovearmies.com, everything should populate correctly. Yeah, right now it's populated correctly already. Can you guys see that? Yep, so that's all of the tutorial. Of course, this tutorial that I recorded is actually using Namecheap. And if let's say you're using a GoDaddy, it will be a very similar kind of step. Or if let's say you need a tutorial, just uh, can ask, ask us anything, then we are happy to help. So stay tuned to the end. Bye.